Okay, so what are we what were we here for? I mean there's multiple reasons why I'm here. I guess I'll just go for the Impive real quick. It's right here. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm in combat? Oh. That would do it. Um... We can always use a hand. I want to see you use it on a prime. Oh boy. I would use it on an extractor. Okay, so first and foremost, let's mod this. So the meteor with the range is kind of nice. The main thing is it doesn't help as much as I wanted it to. So let's see if I can switch this out for something that does more damage. Okay, so I guess I don't have multiple of those. Kind of figured as much. Damage and fire rate. We could do an extra 20 damage. Damage, critical increase. Extra EXP would be kind of nice. And keep merging these together. I think mainly I just we just need some more warden mods. That's that's the real real deal with this. Okay, I guess I'll just give it some more fire. More damage on top of everything else. So I was actually going to go up here. This That was my original goal. So is there anything that increases charge rate? Not really. I'm not sure if I need it. I might. I don't know. Let's go wreck a fool. Sup? Get out of there. Yes. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, so assuming I hit with it. It's freezing. Whatever weapon you're using, it's the right one. Keep it up. Okay. It kind of sort of almost doesn't really work in the way that I want want it to. Huh. Okay, so we should probably actually switch this thing out for the uh, flamethrower, maybe. It, uh, I mean, it's not going to level too slowly. At the same time, I should probably do the flamethrower. Uh, you know what? Let's go back to this for a second. I'm just going to unequip a lot of these mods. We'll level up the ram. What? Oh, crap. I'm a dumb bunny. I just took everything off. Of this ship. Which was, uh, wrong. And stupid. And whoops. Let's see, I guess we can... Reduce boost cost. Yeah, we want to do... Nope, go back. Mod. There we go. Okay, slap the, all those off. Switch this out for the flamethrower. 
and switch this out for... We might as well use some weapons that... Eh. No, we can, we can probably roll the Shredder. Okay, so the Shredder's modded up. This is not. Okay, increase that. Increase that. Damage, fire rate. Nope. EXP, yes. Range would be interesting. Yeah, we need the range on the flamethrower. Oops. Okay, so this sucker still hurts. Main problem is I gotta be close to this sucker. I guess what I could do. Is actually just kind of circle strafe around him. I'm not really sure how that hit me. I mean, it's okay. My controls are Never mind, that was the homing ice shot. There we go. I got it. That's confusing. Seriously, I killed this guy like previously and it just didn't even matter. I guess the one thing I really probably should have done was just giving myself ice resistance. It totally nullifies the, the difficulty. I guess I'm just stubborn and dumb. Starlink database updated. So we just got the wisdom of Coral. Okay, Wisdom of Corral. Pilot ability charge speed, defense, and damage with reflect. Yeah, sure. Alright, so we're done with that. We got a couple other things, including an extractor. But yeah, ice protection armor. Yeah, I, I should have. I, I totally forget I could actually just cheese this by by maxing my elemental resistance when fighting these guys, because they always have elemental damage. Because uh, I did that previously, and he didn't do damage to me. Whoops. Anyway, how's the game? I really like it. I mean, there's there's definitely some, like, weird grumps, and, like, obviously the, uh, the fact that you should only really buy the digital deluxe version, because everything else is going to just cost you more money, kind of sucks. Proximity alert. Extractor but whatever. Power rating moderate. Our allies must be protected against threats like this. We better take action. The node's down. Oh, I know what I could do with the flamethrower. The range is nice. And the extra EXP earned is kind of nice. But why don't we... It'll be faster if I actually am good with this. Because the Shredder is a little bit more ammo efficient than some of the other weapons I've got. We should go see if I can buy a bunch of efficiency amplifiers. Okay, so what, what do I want to get on this thing? Range? No. Rate of fire? Eh? Might not be bad. A little bit of kinetic damage would be nice. I guess we'll put the EXP on this sucker instead. Hmm. We already have that equipped. And I guess I could give her the range. Okay, because, yeah, that... The, vulc the volcano the is very expensive. Alright. <laughs> well! Extractor destroyed. Let's see, is it worth it for the Star Fox crew? Yeah, they actually... So, I would say that uh, this game is... It's still probably worth picking up on on the other... Like, on other platforms. 
But uh, if you have a Switch, get it on the Switch above all else. Because uh, the, the Star Fox specific storyline just adds a fair bit to the game that, you know, I'm kind of impressed. I'm, I'm impressed by the amount of work that went into including the Star Fox characters. You don't see that in other games very often. Ever? Really? And so it's it's neat to see them actually put like an insane amount of work into eh, maybe not an insane amount of work, but like above and beyond expectations just to include Star Star Fox and Company. And this would be such a snazzy way to like sneak in a, a trailer for a new Star Fox game at the end. Let's see, are those auto heli stations? No, those are condensers. Wait, the Star Fox stuff isn't normally in the game? Nope, it's only in the game if you get the Switch. Or the Switch version. Let's see, this game is a Switch exclusive. No, it ain't. You can, you can get this game on PS4 and I think Xbox One. But why would you? Okay, maybe we do need the range in the volcano. Boy, does that do damage. Hot dang. I need to try something else. Okay, maybe I should get range on this thing. Okay. Where's the ash for this? Here it is. Yeah, that's it. Keep firing. This is real satisfying. No, suppose oh yeah, there there's the other enemies. Not for long! And we get the orbital cannon. Ooh, fun. Let's see, can you, can you not fly in most missions? You can, I just, it's not as comfortable, I guess I would say. The, um... Bombing runs are kind of weirdly slow and awkward. Here's back on Sonatas. Before the Legion reared its ugly head, Opus was the biggest city in Atlas. Place was hopping with activity. Now there's nothing left but broken rock and dirty wind. He has a lot of lines for that, by the way. Nice choice of weapon. You're crushing them. Okay. So that's over and done with. Right. We still have this marked. And yes, there will be no PC version for this game. At least not that I know of. It'd be lovely if there was. What other content is mis missing? Detected. I think wherever they're off to, it won't be good. We should stop them while we can. I think the only content that is missing from this game is this uh on other platforms. Uh, please stop attacking me. Imp swarm neutralized. That didn't count? Oh, that sucks. Oh hi! How are you? Hey, I'm Mason. We're here to take Grax and the Legion down. Anything I can do to help? I need Bios on it. Excellent. Retrieve the analyzer and we'll begin. Gotcha. Okay, time to scan some Vibrosaurus. I don't really need to do this. I could probably just build one of these. Approaching analysis target. Vibrosaur. Scan that one. It's perfect. Don't stop now. Find another specimen to scan. Okay. Is that a Vibrosort? No, it's one of these guys. 
I don't think I've actually scanned these guys fully yet. Not really a whole lot of reason to do so. But I'll do it anyway. That's called an Ursatar. Apparently they are the subject of song and myth in Sonashin folklore. Okay, do we get a... For you? Nope. The Chime J. The Ursatar. Multiple, in fact. There you are. You know, Vibrosaurs kind of look like uh, non-gooey Gudras. I really want to play a sci-fi monster hunter Analyzer at some point. Complete. Completely unrelated to this. I just, like... I would love to see some more, like, sci-fi creature designs thrown in. I think I'm actually backtracking here, but whatever. Let's see, can you add elemental mods to kinetic weapons? I wish. I wish you could. I actually wish none of the weapons were inherently elemental in this game, and it was just firing modes that that changed weapon to weapon. Data retrieval complete. That'll be plenty. Bring it back here, please. Whoa! I just boosted off of that thing. That's cool. Uh, but I don't know. Like, I'd love to see like a Monster Hunter style game set on like planets like this. You know, weird alien stuff. I know that's kind of what uh, Xenoblade's supposed to be. But... It would... I don't know, it would make my day if it was actually like... more. Well, it played like Monster Hunter, but it looked like Xenoblade. Any of the Xenoblades. See, how many hours worth of play is this game? Ugh, lots. Welcome back. Where's that analyzer? Have you got it? Thank you. Now I can unlock how Vibrosaurs store and pressurize gases within their bodies. We're all in this together. Oh, hi! Sorry if I seem distracted. Just busy being the most brilliant mind this side of Andromeda. Confirmed. Ship repairs underway. Yeah, Monster Hunter planets. Yup. Yeah, like, imagine a, a Monster Hunter game with equipment that kind of looks closer to, I don't know, say like some of the later fantasy star games. Oh, that'd be beautiful. The whole planet from here. Let's see. So this being an Ubisoft game, any microtransactions on the digital version? Uh, if you, if it's the 80 buck digital version, no, then you get everything. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the planet. There's a little bit left here and there, but I think that's the vast majority that remains. So all that's left are crash drakes and imp nests. I don't really care about dealing with those. Anything else? There's like a, oh, there's like one mystery zone or something, but that that's fine. Okay, so let's zoom out. So we're done with this planet. We actually really did not get a whole lot of Nova there. Come back here. This place is good for Nova. Got a ton of extractors. That's only got one. We should probably go deal with the Dreadnought, though. So you need one armory. Do you need an armory on a planet? Because I've never seen any, like, reason to get one apart from preventing spread. But, like, I actually want the Legion to spread to this planet. Let's see, did Wander get tired of Fox? No, I'm leveling an alternate character for a little while. Let's see, now that you mention it, Fantasy Star Online was basically sci-fi monster hunter. It was, to some degree. Uh, let's see. Okay, there we are. Oh, did it just plunk down another? No, it didn't. That's the one I want to go to. Hey there. We'd benefit greatly from some of the cores you're carrying if you wanted to barter. I don't want to give them to you. Proximity alert. Extractor detected. Power rating low. We've got to keep our allies safe from these things. 
Bring it down. Got you. Whoa. That hurt. Yeah, the flamethrower is nuts. Nope, deactivated. The regular the regular weaponry ain't bad. Orbital strike incoming. Oh, killed it before the orbital strike. Extractor destroyed. Oh, well, that was easy. Void armor. Or I just switch switch ships for the damage for a second and good to go. Uh Ah. Oh, UI didn't load there. Well, whatever. Uh, let's see. The code? Uplink established. Breaching Legion memory bank. Remain nearby. Oh, this is me. Connection. Warning. Legion incoming. I wasn't expect exactly expecting this. Technically, already have my ability, but I'm not entirely sure if I care to grab it. Hack successful. Legion data received and processed. Okay, done with that. Probably gonna just leave the prime on the surface. He's just gonna slowly scoot around and kind of do nothing. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? So leaving just wrecks, runes, and species and samples. All right. So we're done with this planet. I'm gonna go after you. Let's just warp up here. I guess I probably should have just uh, lifted off and gone out of the atmosphere, but whatever. To space. I wonder what his ability, how, ah, oh, I wonder how Mason's ability works in space. I guess we'll get we'll get the chance to find out another dreadnought. How closer do we level these? The shredder is leveling a lot faster than the volcano, interestingly enough. I wonder if it's based on kills. Pro maybe. So the planets different from each other on things to do on them. Not overwhelmingly. Many of the planets are the same. I it's an Ubisoft game. You really shouldn't expect too much like immediate. Uh, variety. Oh, right. Orbital strike Oops. incoming. Okay, approaching the dreadnought now. Hold up. Sage is picking up a close range Legion transmission, but it's using our encryption code, putting it through. I'm on the dreadnought. I'll try to find a way out, but. In case I don't, I'm sorry. Hey, Grant. Razor, tell him we're here. It's a recording. I don't know if I can patch us through. Well, you gotta try. What do you think I'm doing? Look, none of you are gonna be any help so long as that thing's operational. But how do we fight it? We barely know what it is. Keep on the approach. We'll assess the situation from there. There it is. The Dreadnought. So what do I do? I, I don't see a way in. Soren, you brought us here. Any bright ideas? There's only one way around that armor, but you're not gonna like it. First step is to take out those battery cannons. Got it. What about St. Grant? Still working on it. All right, so I am under leveled. We'll see how it goes. Changing pilots? I'll see if I, hopefully I won't have to. If I have to, I will. Realistically, Mason should be fine. Equinox, fire off my mark. I'm not even sure what that did. That blasted somebody. Oh, 
Okay. Gotta take out all these shifts. Otherwise... Nope. Nope. That might actually be a helper ship. I do kind of wish you could actually set wingmen in this game. You know, companion characters that would just follow you around. That'd be really satisfying. He's in my sights. Because, yeah, it looks like Hunter is helping us on this one. That'd be kind of neat for, like, the bigger fights, you know, the outlaw ships and whatnot. Uh, for them to help you out. I straight up do not see a single turret on this thing. Not on this side. Other side? There's a top side. There it is. There's our answer. Okay, that's dead. Oh, good. Elite, Le uh, Elite Legion Drake. Which looks like that's the, uh... That's the last Legion, um... Uh, Weapon familiarity improved. Oh, we maxed something out. Alright, let's switch this thing out. It's about to go down. What do we think? Our wings got its HP back? Yes. Ah, just missed. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, it, it looks like we've already leveled up this weapon. Might actually want to switch it out. Yep, Shredder Mark uh, Mark II is leveled up once. Which means, actually, the Shredder levels real quick. So I guess if you want to get a lot of levels on a character, uh, just keep um, just keep to the, the kinetic weapons and the level fast. So I, I guess I can stick to this until it's, uh, it's done-zo. Okay. Equinox, fire on my mark. What? Caution. Secondary turrets online. It's working. Now hit the eyes when they open, and watch out for those drakes. That's a bit disappointing. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I was really, I was really expecting that just to just nuke that thing to oblivion. I was incorrect. Got him. Okay, so we've got laser eyeballs. They got, I guess I got a laser in the face. Nice, dude. There's one. Ah, crap. Ouch. Whoa, hi. Okay. Something was melting me. Something was melting me quite a lot. Probably was one of the one of the dead eyes. No, it's the elite Lancer Drakes. He's in my sights. Okay. Yep. Let's just pull away for a second. I'm not entirely sure what those guys are using on me. But it hurts. Oh, God. I think that was... That was a dead eye. Or... Nope. Oh, yeah. 
There you go. Okay, who else do we have? I'm just gonna keep taking out the uh, the Drakes because they're they're worth a decent amount of dosh. Okay. There's one. Nope. There's two. Last of all. You know what this reminds me of right now? This actually very distinctly reminds me of, um, of the space battles in Battlefront. I don't know how many of you guys ever played Battlefront 2, uh, but that game had amazing space battles. They were incredibly satisfying. Like, I, I love to do just like, uh, just fly around for hours in a, uh, fly around for hours in a, uh, in a Y-Wing just sniping people. Because all, all it needed was like an upgrade or two. Okay. These are all roasty toasty. That one doesn't look like it's opening. I guess it's the opposite side. Yeah, Rogue Squadron. I played a decent amount of Rogue Squadron when I was a kid. I don't know why, but space, uh, space, like dogfighting games. Oh, hello. Incoming. Recommend evasive action. That's it. Take out that missile launcher, and you can get inside. That's your way inside. You wanted a way past its armor. That's it. Once the door opens, it's a straight shot to the core. Interior exposed. Entry is now possible. Oh, this is interesting. There, got a connection. Saint Grand, can you hear me? Razor, is it really you? Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Saint Grand, I'm here. I'm coming to rescue you. Mason, I knew you could do it. I have so much to tell you. You can tell us all about it when you're back. We've been saving your seat. Oh, that sounds good. Listen, I need you to destroy the reactor. What about you? Don't worry. I think you've caused enough of a distraction for me to find my own way out. Just take out that reactor. I mean, we could easily pick him up and then go. It's not like the enemies have proven to be that much of a uh, immediate danger to me. Reminds me of Battletech. Oh yeah, the Macross games? Oh god, can you imagine a Macross game that would play like this? That'd be incredible. I'd play the shit out of that. Ship level increased. Got it. Now get out of there. That means you too, St. Grand. I'm on my way. This is gonna be close. Infected with a foreign neurotoxin. Life signs are fading. Then do something. Be careful. No. He doesn't look good. No, it's okay. Come closer. Grex, help me on a warden station. Judge, I saw something. Fall. 
follow the wardens. No. 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 He's... He's gone. You did your best. We all did. Our best? He's dead, Hunter! What good is our best now? After the accident, it's all anyone wanted to talk about. They treated me like I was weak, but I'm not. St. Grand, he saw that. He brought me aboard, and I met all of you, and... I should have been Fox for I this. never got to thank oh. him for that. Just to see if the cutscene would change. He took me in when no one else would. Levi, you broke in. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't call the cops. I was so pumped to be part of this trip. Part of this crew. St. Grant saw me talk, and next thing I knew, here I was in Atlas. St. Grant made me believe I could do anything. But now he's gone. I guess he was wrong about me. Okay, that's enough. Listen, I've lost people before. You don't want to go down that road. If you hadn't been here, St. Grant would have died for nothing. You need to be here. Why? Who else is going to get us out of this mess? You could not have prevented St. Grant's death. But you can shape what comes next. We must halt the Legion's progress here before it can escape Atlas. Judge is right. Grax isn't going to stop until we end this. We're not going to let him hurt anyone else. But St. Grant said he was on a warden station. Do we even know where that is? Maybe. I'm gonna head to Karit. I'll explain on the way. Carl, you were telling me the only warden structures in the Pleiades are in Atlas, right? Ah, yes. However, my extensive research has only uncovered tombs and warden spires. Nothing large enough to launch a dreadnought. Not in Atlas A. But have you seen anything near Atlas's other stars? Uh, dude, I only see one star. Oh, they're invisible! Levi, Atlas has three stars. St. Grant briefed us on the way here. It's a valid theory. This warden station could very well be in Atlas B or C. But they're both billions of miles from here. Too close for the spin drive and too far to fly. We'd never make it. So we use Starlink. That can't be your answer to everything. What? No, all we need to do is extend the range. The only problem is getting enough power. Is that even possible? That's why I'm going to Karit. Hopefully, our allies can help. Hello. We have another dreadnought. We have... Oh my god, why? How? Jesus. Ow. Okay, so the game just ranked up, ramped up. I don't know, things. Alright, so we've got that there. Ah. Oh. You spent all this time, and in the end, it just dumps these things on you. Okay, well, let's go to the Equinox.